Disneyland uh, offered me the opportunity to come in and open the park up for this 24-hour celebration to welcome summer uh, to the Disneyland and Walt Disney Resorts. And, and um, it's such a privilege to be here. My own family is going to come and we're going to uh, we're going to do the parks up like everybody else. And, and you know, it's a tradition. Uh, it's kind of a rite of passage for children and for adults alike. And, and I'm thrilled to be a, a part of it. The must-do attractions for me uh, and my daughter are Pirates of the Caribbean, Peter Pan, uh, Storybook Canal, and uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. She kind of loves those, so we're going to hit all those. I grew up in South Florida, and so we would drive to Walt Disney World, which is only like three hours away, quite often. And so to be a part now of you know, having a character in the parks is such an unbelievably cool and inspiring thing. Not only for me, but for my own child. It gives me a lot of street cred in my home. Uh, so I'm kind of the cool dad, except when I'm not, except when all of her friends are like, oh, we're tired of Olaf. Are you related to Anna or Elsa? And she's like, no, I'm not. Everything that you set out to do from a film or theater or TV standpoint, you always hope that it has some sort of effect on kids or, or your intended audience. And Frozen was no exception. I wanted to be a part of a Disney animated movie since I was a kid. And then to be a part of one that has transcended uh, everybody's expectations and become the highest grossing animated movie of all time and, and, and has had such a cultural impact, uh, it's surreal. It's just, it's incredibly surreal and unexpected in the best way possible. Frozen has definitely helped catapult my career into a different place. Um, you know, I'm getting ready to go to Toronto this summer to film a new movie that I'm really excited about called Pixels with uh, Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Peter Dinklage, and uh, it's kind of like a modern day Ghostbusters. And then I've got a movie coming out in January with Kevin Hart called The Wedding Ringer. So um, it's it's great. It's a fun ride, and more than anything, I love the opportunity to be a part of something that seems to touch kids all over the world and 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 that is that is uh unlike anything i've ever done before